Today we listen to St. Faustina's warning regarding being careful with what we say and how custody of the tongue is important when it comes to judgment after death. We read in paragraph 118. The tongue is a small member, but it does big things. A religious who does not keep silence will never attain holiness. That is, she will never become a saint. Let she not delude herself, unless it is the Spirit of God who is speaking through her, for then she must not keep silent. But in order to hear the voice of God, one has to have silence in one's soul, and to keep silence, not a gloomy silence, but an interior silence, that is to say, recollection in God. One can speak a great deal without breaking silence, and, on the contrary, one can speak little and be constantly breaking silence. Oh, what irreparable damage is done by the breach of silence! We cause a lot of harm to our neighbour, but even more to our own selves. In my opinion, and according to my experience, the rule concerning silence should stand in the very first place. God does not give himself to a chattering soul which, like a drone in a beehive, buzzes around but gathers no honey. A talkative soul is empty inside. It lacks both the essential virtues and intimacy with God. A deeper interior life, one of gentle peace and of that silence where the Lord dwells, is quite out of the question. A soul that has never tasted the sweetness of inner silence is a restless spirit which disturbs the silence of others. I have seen many souls in the depths of hell for not having kept their silence. They told me so themselves when I asked them what was the cause of their undoing. These were souls of religious. My God, what an agony it is to think that not only might they have been in heaven, but they might even have become saints. O oh Jesus, have mercy. I tremble to think that I have to give an account of my tongue. There is life, but there is also death in the tongue. Sometimes we kill with the tongue. We commit real murders, and we are still to regard that as a small thing? I truly do not understand such consciences. I have known a person who, when she learned from someone that a certain thing was being said about her, fell seriously ill. She lost a good deal of blood and shed many tears, and the outcome was very sad. It was not the sword that did all this, but the tongue. O oh, my silent Jesus, have mercy on us. Jesus, I trust in you. Thank you.